And as you return to your chair today, if you would, would you take a moment and be seated? Thank you for ministering through prayer to these that are serving the Lord. In this final few moments today, you have heard the challenge of Dr. Dr. Ezel and Dr. Platt. You have heard the heart. You have seen the vision. Last night, thousands of people were in this room calling out to God for new churches to be planted, for missionaries to be sent, for money to be given. And now that we have prayed and now that we have seen the vision, the North American Mission Board and the International Mission Board wanted to give us an opportunity to respond, which I really do appreciate. On every chair today, there was a card that looks something like this. I want you to get that card. Every pastor, and if your pastor's not here, and you're a church leader, I want you to fill this card out today. And if you're a pastor and you're sitting by your church leader, only one of you need to fill out the card on behalf of your church. But this is very, very important because we want to act on what we've heard and what we've prayed about and what we've had a vision to do. And so if you would, I want you to take the card. And the commitment is threefold. We hope that you will at least choose one of those. If not all three of those, we pray. That's what the church should be involved in doing. So if you would, pastor and or church leader, as you complete the card, obviously you have to fill your name out, your phone, your church name, your email, your church address and city, and your role, meaning I'm a pastor or I'm a mission pastor or I'm a church leader. And as you complete this card, I want you to look at the top of the card. It talks about how I commit to pray passionately. I commit to give generously so that church planners and missionaries can be sent. I commit to intentionally disciple people to be sent nationally and internationally. Now I want us to think for a moment in our final moments. Think about where we've been over the last 36 hours of our lives where God has had us as a convention of churches and to think about the big vision of us asking God for an awakening so that we can reach the world with the gospel of Christ. And Billy Graham states very clearly years ago that the greatest hope of the evangelization of the world is spiritual awakening. And so all of it goes together. A mighty move of the Lord and His people mobilized to reach the world. And this involves prayer, just as we've done today and just as we did last night, and just like we challenge you to go home and do in your church. This involves giving generously. Dr. Frank Page talked about that yesterday. I talked about that yesterday. These men today have talked about that. Listen, our churches must rise up and give generously. If we cannot give to forward the gospel mission throughout the world, what in the world would we be giving to? And so I want to urge every church, go home. Increase your giving 
to our two mission offerings. Increase your giving through the cooperative program. And as we heard yesterday in vision, we must get involved in a great commission advance. In a time when we intentionally advance the Great Commission. So I want to urge you and encourage you to do that as you build that discipleship church, that culture in your church. God wants to call out thousands of people, from businessmen to full-time missionaries. He wants to call out educators and students all the way to full-time missionaries. And let's ask him, and let's trust him, and let's commit to do so. That's what this card is about. And so I want to urge you, as we come to this final moment, we're going to ask that you take this card, if you completed it, and as Shane and Shane leads us in a closing worship song, and then Jeremy Roberts will come and pray. I hope today that you'll complete this and you'll pass it down the row and there will be ushers to come and get it. Thank you for getting the vision of reaching the world with the gospel of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Dr. Platt. Thank you, Dr. Ezell. The boards of trustees of both we thank you, Southern Baptist, for what you're doing to reach the world with the gospel. The moon and the stars, they wept. The morning sun was dead. The Savior of the world was fallen. One final breath he gave as heaven looked away. The Son of God was laid in
sing hallelujah. We sing hallelujah. We sing hallelujah. The Lamb is overcome. We sing hallelujah. We sing hallelujah. We sing hallelujah. The Lamb is overcome. And we sing hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh, God, we close out this time of mission celebration, praying that we would indeed reach our neighbors across the streets and across the seas, our neighbors and the nations from the womb to the tomb. Oh, God, please help us to reach the nations with the gospel of Jesus Christ. God, we, we are reminded of the words of Leslie New, Newbegin when he said the mission of the church is missions. The mission of missions is the church. And God, we give you the glory and we pray, Lord Jesus, that your fire would rain down upon the 46,000 churches that comprise the Southern Baptist Convention. God, please send a great awakening, and Lord, please use the vehicle of the cooperative program and especially the North American Mission Board and the International Mission Board to fulfill the great commission within our generation. That is our heart cry, O oh Lord God. We love you, Lord Jesus Christ. We live for your glory and for your name's sake, and we love you, Jesus. All for Jesus' sake, amen.